Welcome to Cruise and Motorhomes. Thank you for traveling with us. To ensure you experience an exciting cruise and adventure, this video explains how to prepare, operate and maintain your high top camper van. The high top camper van is equipped with a range of facilities to make your holiday more enjoyable. The vehicle needs to be plugged into a 240 volt mains power source at least every second night to charge and maintain the 12 volt house battery. The following appliances only work when you are plugged into 240 volts mains power, which includes microwave, power socket and battery charger in the vehicle. The power lead has a large earth pin, which makes them 15 amp leads. You cannot connect these leads to a normal household power socket. All caravan park powered sites in Australia have 15 amp power outlets. To connect the van to 240 volts power source, please use the 15 amp extension lead which is located under the sliding bed. Connect one end to the caravan park power outlet and the other end to the high top camper van power inlet. Make sure the main switch is turned on at the power site. The 240 volt outlets are protected by a circuit breaker. If you experience a power surge where the circuit breaker trips, find the circuit breaker inside the motorhome and switch back to on. This circuit breaker can be found either above the 12 volt switch panel or inside the cabinet beside the fridge or under the sliding bed. The high top camper van has two 12 volt batteries, one in the engine compartment and the other at the rear of the cabin. The battery inside the cabin is also called the house battery. The house battery operates the fridge, water pump, interior lights and exterior lights. The house battery is charged by an alternator when the vehicle is being driven and the 240 volt system when it is plugged into the mains power source. To use the fridge, turn the main power switch on, then turn on the fridge switch. Then turn on the fridge power source. In our high tops, we have two models of the fridge. If you have a fridge with buttons inside, then use the buttons to turn the fridge on and set the temperature using these buttons. Or if you have a fridge with regulator inside, then use this regulator to turn the fridge on and set the temperature. Please note, to run the fridge, reading on this meter must be 12 volts or more. Once the reading goes below 12 volts, your fridge will cut off. The high top camper van has a fresh water tank, which carries up to 40 litres of fresh water in it. To access your fresh water from the sink, turn on the water pump switch and then use the lever on the tap as you would in any standard kitchen. We recommend that you fill up your fresh water tank as often as possible. To use the cabin lights, turn on the internal lights power switch and then turn on the lights via the button on the light. Pressed once, the light will be dim blue. Pressed twice, the light will be brighter and white. To use the external lights, turn on the external lights power switch. If the lights or any 12 volt appliance is not working, in this event, push the small clear button in to reactivate that appliance. The light should then turn on. The high top camper van has stove top burners which operate on LPG. Before we demonstrate how this appliance works, please remember it is not safe to use cooking appliances for comfort heating. To run the stove, please open the LPG gas compartment located on the driver side of the vehicle and open the gas valve fully in an anti-clockwise direction. Make sure there is enough ventilation in the van before you use stovetop burners. Then push in, hold down and turn the burner knob to maximum heat. Whilst the burner knob is still being pushed in, press the igniter switch until the gas lights. Keep holding down the burner knob and wait 15 seconds before slowly releasing the burner knob. 
The high-top camper van has a freshwater tank, which carries up to 40 litres of fresh water in it. To fill the water tank, please use water hose located in the compartment under the sliding bed. Unlock the water inlet door. Connect the tap fitting of a hose pipe to the caravan park fresh water tap and place the bare end of the water hose as far in as possible, then slowly fill the tank with fresh water. When you see the water start dripping off the water inlet, close the tap and take the bare end out and lock the inlet door. Please note, do not use too much pressure as the tank may be vented when filling. The high top camper van is equipped with two beds, table and couch. To make the bottom bed, please pull down the lever and slide the bed toward the rear of the van until it meets the two rear seats. Lift the board and flip it over so it provides a surface for the second half of the bed. Extend the bars underneath the rear passenger seats and put the square cushion on top of these. Put all the cushions into place including the row of cushions behind the front seats to create a mattress. All your linen, including bed sheets, towel and doona is in the van for your convenience. Use these to make a full complete bed. The second bed is located above the driver's cabin. To access this bed, please slide out the grey slats until it is fully extended. Place the mattress on top of the bed and use the linen and bed sheets to make a full complete bed. The bed can also double as a couch by leaning the top board against the back of the front seats. To set the table, please take the table base and pole located at the back of the camper van. First, put the table pole into the base and then put the tabletop in the pole. Your table is ready to use. At a height of 3 metres, your high top camper van is much higher than a standard car and must be driven to accommodate to its size. To avoid overhead damage, when parking or reversing, Cruisen recommends that a second passenger stand on the exterior of the vehicle and help guide the high top whenever possible. Do not drive at night outside of towns and major cities. Animal strikes are a very common occurrence when night driving in regional Australia. With higher animal populations and lonely long roads and open grazing areas, increasing the chance of a collision with kangaroos, wombats, emus, cattle and even camels are most active between dusk and dawn. Driving a motorhome or camper van in Australia at night is a whole other experience and one that we strongly advise all our customers against doing. There are a few important things to remember before you commence your cruise and holiday. The high top camper van consists of the following keys. Please try not to separate these keys from the key ring. First, start from inside the vehicle. Ensure all kitchen appliances are disconnected and are stored in the cupboard and drawers to prevent rattling and breakage. Close the stove lid, make sure the fridge door has been closed properly and its vent is in the closed position. All cupboards and drawers are closed. Drawers work via a push button mechanism that secures things in place while in transit. Remove the tabletop and its pole and place them back to their respected place. Please check the exterior of the vehicle. Please ensure the side sliding door is closed properly. Walk around your high top and be aware of any obstruction in the way of your exit. Ensure the gas bottle is in a closed position. Make sure its compartment door is closed properly. The driver's cabin in the high top is set up slightly different to a standard car. First, adjust the driving seat.
wear the seat belt, adjust back mirror and set the stereo and navigation as it is important not to be distracted while driving. Then adjust the side mirrors by using the buttons located beside the steering wheel. To start the engine, make sure your gear lever is in parking mode, marked with the letter P. Once the engine is running and you want to go reverse, then keep your foot on the brake and move the lever down to the R. To drive forward, then keep your foot on the brake and move the lever down to the D. Please make sure you disengage the handbrake before you accelerate the vehicle. When parked or stationary for a period of time, return the lever to P and apply the handbrake. The high top camper van fuel gauge displays the fuel level of the high top only when the vehicle is in the on position. Turn the engine to the off position while the vehicle is being refueled. To access the fuel filling point, locate the lever underneath the steering wheel. The fuel filling point is located next to the passenger door. The high top camper van accepts unleaded petrol only. If you have filled the vehicle with diesel, water or add blue, please do not start the engine and call the cruise and assistance number. Once again, thank you for travelling with us. If you have any questions, please go through our user manual or simply contact us on our cruise and assistance number located on the keyring. To improve our service in future, your feedback is important to us. Please do share your experience with us once you finish the holidays. Please follow the instructions on the screen to share your views and experience.